you went out. Is this a one dater that you guys went out with each other? Yeah, just one date. Uh, you know, she's pretty astonishing. So I took her to a very high end restaurant. I enjoyed myself. I thought we had a really good time, but now she's acting cold. And every time I call her, she's sending my calls right to voicemail. This, by I'm the like, way, wow, I, I thought I made a pretty good impression. Curtis took her to Capitol Grill, which is, by hey. the way, that ain't no joke, by the way. I just want you to know no, that. That's not. expensive. No, it is not. It is quite the restaurant, too. I spent a pretty bit of, of, of the coin in there. And because you spend all that money, you at least deserve to get an, an answer of what's going on. You know, if you took her to, yeah, like, a, uh, a Coney Island or, you know, uh, I don't know, IHOP, <laughs> then uh, No, then man, I, I'm just... I mean, just in just in good in good form, just to be a classy person. Hey, it may not ever work, but I, a phone call—that's that's not harmful. Just let me know this isn't working. I didn't like it. Give me something. Just don't ghost me. All right, uh, Marsha is on with us right now. Marsha, are you okay with being on the radio? Hi, Marcia. hi, Marcia. hi. How are you, Marsha? Will you say hello to Curtis? Curtis? Oh, Curtis is on the phone. Hi, Curtis. <laughs> hey, Marsha. <laughs> How By the way, you guys sound like you're meant for each other. Mm-hmm. Like, I, honestly, I don't know why you guys wouldn't want to date each other. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting this, really. <laughs> so, Marsha, uh, Curtis just told us that he took you out to Capitol Grill for a nice meal. Okay. And and is that right? Did he take you to Capitol Grill? That, that, that is correct. He did take me out to, a, you know, it was a nice little classy uh, place, um, but... You know, there were things that happened that, that I really, you know, really didn't like. So, what did you like not what? like? Well, first of all, you know, um, he seemed like he was a really nice guy. So, we went out. We went to, you know, he took me to this place. And I'm like, I hope it's going to be a nice place. It was, it was Capitol Grill. It was a nice place. But when we got in, they seated us near the back, and I noticed there was a lot of traffic going by. You know, it was. The servers were going in and out. So I looked, you know, I said, so, Curtis, can you go and talk to, you know, the hostess and ask them for a better table? I mean, I came in. I I was dressed really nice. You know, I put a lot of effort in it. I wanted to be a nice date for me. I don't like sitting in the back of the restaurant. So and- I thought maybe he would go and get us, some, you know, a nice table. He comes back and says, oh, well, they won't change the table. So I was very upset about it. You know, I consider myself, you know, a very, you know, attractive. I was really attractive that night. I was just really nice. <laughs> okay. I thought, if he can't handle a table change, what is he going to do later on? I mean, wait, wait, I want Mar- a guy that's a take charge kind of guy. Marsha, what right. does where you sit in a restaurant, unless you're sitting in the <laughs> parking lot, mean to... <laughs> A date, and why is that his fault? He he got first off, he got a, re- a reservation. Okay, and he goes up and asks for a table change. Were they busy? I, it wasn't that. Curtis, hard. Curtis, were they busy? No, they weren't. It's not an issue of them being busy. When I went to them and asked them about the seating change, they said it's all been reserved for a very large party that is going to be there in like 15, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. There was the, the, the area that she wanted to sit in was pretty reserved, but that, that sounds insane. Like, this, so you, so in other words, in your mind, because you were dressed really nice, you just want to be seen by other patrons. I thought we we're there to enjoy each other. Mm. Well, that's it. true, but I mean, let's just say this, okay? A man that I like a take charge kind of man. I want a man that can, if I ask for something, he can make that happen. Not every man can do that, but that's the kind of lady I am. So I wanted somebody that can go in there. Talk to the hostess and say, you know what? Look, my lady's not happy. Look, can't you do this for me? I I, I wanted to be up front. I didn't want to be in the back of the restaurant. If he can't handle that, down the road, what else can he get? That's Ooh, important wow. to me. You are not high maintenance at all, by the way. I just want you to know that. She knows what she wants. She knows what she wants, and yeah, she's not why, afraid to ask for it. Why is it? it you, obviously, Shannon, you don't, you don't think that... Uh, Curtis is in the wrong on this one, right? Because he did, he wasn't able to get them their table changed. I mean, no, no. There's yeah. so many different topics here. I just I'm trying yeah. to figure out where to start with it. These, these two guys are characters too. No, I'm, yeah, but I, let's, I, just I start, I, let's just start with this, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm I went out of my way to dress really nice for this date. Mm-hmm. I'm asking for one thing. I just want one thing. If he can go and change the tables, 
No, my question to you, my question to you though, Marsha, is you. I'm sure you looked beautiful, but when you were getting ready, weren't you getting ready so that Curtis thought you looked beautiful? I feel like, especially on a first date, that's who this you're trying to impress. Whoa, Sorry, that's I who you're trying to impress. Sneeze. That's who your attention should be focused on because. You guys don't know anything about each other. Yet. Well, that's true, but ambience is so important to me. Uh-huh. So I'm, I'm, I could understand if you wanted your table moved. Like, I will totally admit this. Sometimes I ask for my table to be moved if they seat me next to the door and it's freezing cold outside. I hate that. I hate being I mean, cold. How can but, you have a good conversation when you got service going back and forth, back and forth? You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to be. But that's not what you said. You said you wanted to be moved so that everybody else in the restaurant could see you. Well, not just. That, but I want to hear. No, no, no. She's right. No, 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 no. She's right. She's right. No, she's right. Here's the truth. Uh, I, I guess our date wasn't about us. It's about you being seen. That's really what it was about. And you know what? I'm. I'm you know. You know. I, at this point, I, I, I realize that the universe is the best of planners. Thanks for ghosting me. Thank you. Thank you. I Adam, it. Adam wants to comment. Adam, what's going on? It's Mojo in the morning. What do you think, Adam? Well, Curtis already got it because I was just going to say, run. This is pure diva behavior. Run immediately. Yeah. But it sounds like Curtis was smart enough to figure that out. So yes, just good lord. Could you imagine? By the way, it starts, <laughs> it, it starts with the table that they sit in at, at their restaurant on the first date. Could you imagine what life would be like? Holy Christ. Well, oh I think a man that's not, job, I think, first of all, let me just say something. Okay, I think a man that's not responsible enough that can't go and change a table, just a table. I'm only asking for a table. Yeah, you know? that's it. Just I mean, a table. What What did you get to eat, by the way, uh, Marsha? So I ordered or better yet, nice Or better yet, Marsha, why don't you tell them what you got to eat and what you got to take home? Oh, oh, How about that? Oh, wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! I don't want her to tell me. I want you to tell me. What did What, what did she do? Of course. She, well, it, it, you know, Miss Classy needs to be seen. She got food for herself. I don't mind. She got prime rib and then took lobster home for her for her supposed son. How about that? It wasn't about what I took home. It was about how I felt while I was at the restaurant. <laughs> it wasn't about that. It was what I felt like at the restaurant with the man that I was with. Yeah. Hold on, if you, Smith. If you, you need to make that happen. Oh, Smith. I cannot wait to hear from Smith. Smith, what did you want to say? Oh, no. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hi. Happy New Year. Because I've been trying to get in to say that. Hi. Hi. We missed you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know, I miss you guys, too. Oh, yeah, girl, you need to just be let go. It is okay that this man did not work out for you. It is okay, Curtis, because guess what? Like you said, the universe is going to send you somebody even better. Let her go. Bye, girl. See you later. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, what's up, Kai? What's going on? It's Mojo in the morning. Hi, how are you guys? Good morning. Me all the time. Thank so you. I know the room, me and my husband go to Capitol Grill quite a bit, and I know that room she's talking about. And there's no way I would sit in that back room, and my husband would be making a fit to get us a different table. It's all the way in the back. It's The wait staff is going back, and it's almost like you're secluded and put out the way. So I don't know if I would not call back but it would be an issue for me i would not say but, but wait have but, to go but if the restaurant you, said that they couldn't you. move you there kai <laughs> if they couldn't move you to that uh, the, out of that room would you just say let's get up and leave or what would you would you want your husband to beat up the both hostess say, both of us would say let's go somewhere else and eat because really? I, I know the room and I, it's just it's not the ambiance it's almost like it's it gives my like greater <sighs> Waiter back room. I, I don't know. I, Listen, I don't I'd like eat it. in the kitchen well, if they would let me eat in the kitchen if I could go to Capitol Grill and get all the food that Marsha ended up getting. And part of the reason I go is for the vibes. In that back room, I know what she's talking about. It's not the vibes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> and I'm going to go to an upscale mm-hmm. restaurant. I want to upscale seating. I don't understand. Yes. What's absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I know each other. Oh, well, I, I, yeah. well, for me, well, for, for, I, I can speak for myself. The next time I go to an upscale restaurant, I'll, I'll remember to take an upscale person. Oh! You're not Whoa, dude. Curtis. And I'll make sure I have a take charge upscale guy. Oh. <laughs> Curtis from Marcia, don't worry about it. You, 
Marcia, don't worry about it. You're the take charge guy. You're the take charge guy. You're listening to Mojo in the Morning.